Now, there's been some serious uh, weather going on in China right now. Yeah, it's now, been very windy. Which led to the thumbnail, by the way. We'll get to that, right? Um, uh, yes. So we thought we'd show you. I actually could have connected those two things. You could have. Okay. Um, you're going to see some of the interesting things that have been happening because of the extreme weather. I call this... <laughs> a warm blanket. He was just getting chilly. Yeah. That, look, here's the thing. Uh, we both lived in China for extended periods of time, and uh, southern China experiences these typhoons all the time, right? At least once a year, there'll be a massive one. And uh, something that you should never do is stay outside at an outdoor open air restaurant when it's typhooning. Yes. Would you not agree? Yes. It's better to not be outside because there's a lot of rickety signs and stuff fly off the buildings, and that mm. type of thing can kill you. Um, so what's I like going on? What, what, by the way, the, the blanket thing, yes. How, like who is recording that? <laughs> you know, that's just going to be a security oh, camera. It's a security camera. You can see it's crap yeah. quality. It's every building in China has a security camera on it. Mm. Every business has their own security cameras. And of course the government has multitudes of security cameras everywhere. They don't work a lot of the time. Yes. But a lot of them do. And so that's why you get this kind of thing. And you wouldn't expect the ground to attack you now, would you? No. Of all things, the ground. Yeah, I would actually them. think something would come from a building. Or <laughs> yeah, something, but the know, ground. Like coming off the building. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, you're not going to hold on to those balloons, I'm afraid. There they go. What's going on here? I, you know what I noticed about this clip? What? You've blocked out the whole point of that clip. Well, okay. What am I supposed to do? Because we're sitting over the dog. Okay, okay. I'll get, I'll get us out of there. Give us a second. Here we go. All right. What do you notice? What's the first thing you notice about this clip? Uh, the dog. Oh, okay. Not me. What? I, I'm looking at the garish golden pillar. Oh, the golden pillar. Yes, okay. Like someone put that up in their house. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, what's going on with this? So you got a carport. This is in rural I love, China, by I, the way. That's a, the most generous term I've ever heard for that. What, a carport? A carport, because I think of something high tech. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now we just call a carport any like, what would you call it here? Lean, I would call lean it a, to? I'd call that a brick wall and a well, piece of tarp or something. A carport is usually like a rubbish, just you've got like a corrugated iron roof or you got, you know, like when you've got an apartment complex mm. and you know, you've got like where the car's parked just under this lame roof. It's not like a garage. Mm. That's a carport. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, that is no longer a carport. Mm. Like I, oh, This is interesting. Okay. What, what's going on? That's, that's a bathroom. Yeah, that's a WC. That's a rural um, toilet. toilet. And it's, let's see what happens with this rural toilet. Okay. Hmm. Bye. Okay. Oh, dude's lucky he got out of there. He must. What do you think he did in order to trigger that? I don't think he did anything. I think that was the build quality. Uh, yeah, I know. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. He 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 misbalanced the place somehow. Well, he dropped a big load or something. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know. You know when gets, they. Yeah. yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's no. He's lucky he got out of there in time. By the way. Yes. Yeah. What about this guy? He's just chilling, tying his shoelace or something. Yeah. <laughs> he got spanked. Yeah. Oh, chains. Chain. Is that chain okay? I think it snapped. <laughs> oh man, what a waste. Oh yeah, a bunch of them broke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it has just been hold on. windy. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, you see how how crazy this wind is, and I got to tell you, when you're on the ground there, it's it gets insane. When you're and, on the ground, yeah. <clears throat> and the reason is the buildings funnel the wind and mm. channel it. So you know, normally it'd be really bad, but then if you get to a place where there's like a corridor between two buildings, it just amplifies that so much. So you're walking, and suddenly it's like whoosh, you get pushed away. It's it can get crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, good luck catching that. Oh. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, Self driving uh, vehicles, you know. Perpetual energy. <laughs> uh, like, it's like, I'm going to take off, is what it says. <laughs> Tifa, yeah. D dude, get away from that. That's terrifying, by the way. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Tell me you haven't seen that in China. Oh, I the have. Styrofoam stores. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's crazy. Uh, it's weird because isn't there a bunch of like typhoons and whatnot going on? I mean, tornadoes and stuff going on here in the US as yeah. well. 
Yeah, but that's not the same thing. No, of course. It's just that time of year or yeah, something. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. the windy season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's true. China is an interesting place from the point of view that when you go to visit there, you're like, oh, wow, look at this um, it's vibrant street food and all that, right? If you're walking in, a, in certain areas. Little did you know it's a covert operation. Well, little, little did you know that it's all illegal. Yes. It's all illegal. Yeah. Um, and so when the Cheng Guang, uh, as they're called, which is the urban management that police type dudes... It's literally thugs. Yeah, just thugs. When they roll around, word spreads, and this is what happens to all the street vendors. They're like, holy crap. We've seen this. This is funny because <laughs> yeah. it's like a whole train of people Yeah, it's just it. like everyone's like, quickly get your food carts out of there before they come confiscated, you know? Yeah. It's like, it's like <laughs> mass exodus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> The original name for ping pong. Whiff waff. <laughs> whiff waff. Oh, fancy a spot of whiff waff, old chap. Uh, Chinese water torture is not Chinese. Interesting, isn't it? Are you married? Do you have children? Do you have a car? Do you have a house? How much money do you make every month? Why are you so fat? Why is your nose so big? The first thing she says to me is, Ah, ni pang la hao door. It's like, oh, you got really fat. That's the first thing she says to me. And apparently, there was a massive explosion and he disappeared. And so they think that he flew to the moon because they named one of the craters on the moon after this guy. Oh, so charming. I think in reality what happened is he just vaporized. <laughs> Take a breath, you fill up my lungs. Uh, and if my mind 